I'm Linda Gray, a member of the Simsan Nation. I work for the Urban Native Youth Association and I'm an author of First Nations 101. I grew up in Vancouver, in the projects in Vancouver, and I actually did not nothing about my culture. I didn't really even know what my nation was until I was in my late teens. One of the great things about going to a school like Native Ed, which I've been to three times, is that you learn so much about culture and just about community, which I didn't have the exposure before. It just gives you this great sense of confidence about yourself and belonging and um, self-pride, especially as I learned more about about my nation and about our culture in general. I could share that with my children so it made me feel more hopeful for them that they were prepared with life. I think that if our young people realize all of the good things and the strengths that our, our ancestors had when they were thinking about the seven generations to come, we're all the seventh generation. I'm the seventh generation, my children are. Somebody seven generations back thought about us. And now we need to do that for the next generations. I would say that today there's many more role models, especially around education for First Nations young people, like at Native Education Set College, that are both teachers or their administrators or their former students of here. And there's lots of us who are out in the community who are talking positively about getting an education. The Native Education College or the First Nations House of Learning that um, resemble our longhouses are really important just in um, evoking a sense of place for First Nations people, especially in an urban setting. There's not enough attention being paid to the reality that almost 60% of us are now in urban settings, and there's not um, the funding and the attention and the focus is not following that. There was such a tremendous effort for hundreds of years by the governments to try to diminish our culture to get rid of it, so we need an extra effort now. It's in our inherent right to have and access to our culture. Especially in the urban setting, it's really important because we don't have access to our land or to our traditional foods and that sort of stuff. So to have the other parts of culture, the expression of culture, like singing and dancing and drumming and um, smudging, all that sort of stuff is really, really important in just in us understanding ourselves and understanding what our ancestors were about and giving us that sense of self-pride and belonging and confidence that everybody needs to do well. Any of the stereotypes that you can think about for a Native person, I grew up with. And now I look at my children, my daughter's a PhD student, and she's doing everything that she can for her community. All of her work that she's doing is around Native youth and in the urban setting. And my son has learned the culture and he knows the stories and he knows the protocols and they're both more than confident enough to get up and sing our traditional songs and to dance our dances. And that is hope at its finest.